All right, what's up you guys? It's been a hot minute since I've made a video. Um, I've been moving a lot, and uh, as you can see, I'm in a new setting from my last video, so you'll probably see here when I try to upload them and edit them. I've done uh, quite a bit of stuff, and I apologize for not filming it. I'm pretty sure this video is already up about it, but let me show you what I got going on here and what we're gonna plan on doing today. So, the first thing I started out with taking my motor and my transmission out. Didn't do a video on that because there's plenty of videos already out, but I mean, if you guys want me to do one, I can. Um, got the transmission rebuilt. Motor's completely rebuilt as well. Everything's all brand, brand new, except for probably the fan shroud, I kept that. And uh, today's goal is to put in the axles we're gonna try to slide those in there and get them all uh, fitted in. So the first thing is, since you know I already have them out, you're gonna to wanna to keep these plates. There's like these little, there should be three or six on each side, one for inside, one for the outside. The same, so all together you should have 12 of these plates. And uh, I don't know, maybe it's a new design upgrade for a gasket. That's the first time I've seen it. Um, I'm pretty sure it's supposed to go on there like that and prevent the uh, grease from coming out. But we'll see how it goes. And uh, make sure you get your grease packed in there too. You want to pack some inside. You want to take the grease, pour it in here, pack it. You know, kind of go in a circular motion. Pack All right, and there it is, the finished product. Now for the gasket, that was a little tricky. So what I did was that I put in all the bolts in first, and when I, when I put the grease in on the top and I packed it in there, I kind of just like, I kind of fiddled with it and put a lot of grease on the top of the gasket, and eventually it was able to sit and stick to this facing surface and then I just pushed all the bolts in hand threaded it first could get a little slippery it's a little tedious of a job but it's a doable you can get it done almost looks like a little shake weight thing that they, <laughs> that they used to have a little shake maybe they got maybe the guy who invented it owned a Volkswagen he was like let's make this into the shake weight <laughs> yeah I'm weird don't judge me other than that though the I'm pretty sure the other side is exactly the same and uh, I'll get back to you when I have the finished product and there it is guys brand new another tip that you can use um, is that if you're having trouble putting in the bolts just spin the wheel or the the uh, axle and yeah, make sure you obviously have it up in the air and uh, you can get a better angle on tightening those bolts but until then Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you like, subscribe, uh, do what you guys do on the uh, tube. But yeah, until then, let me know if I left anything out in the comments below. Until next time, guys.